Alright, we have Doug Harden trucks here today. We're doing a manual G56 to an auto swap. And um, what's involved in this swap is rather simple, but uh, it takes a little bit of time shortening the drive shafts, shortening and lengthening drive shafts, um, keeping the same adapter plate in it. Uh, and then we're installing a stand, standard uh, and eater. Or classic hand eater on it for transmission controls. All right, so with the manual to auto swap, <clears throat> with this, obviously we have the shifter here, and we're going to build a plate to mount down here on the bottom of the floorboard to where we can build our ratchet shifter off of here to where it'll keep his stock interior glove or cup holder compartment, and it'll keep everything there so that it doesn't. Uh, it, it'll be a nice clean job by the time we're done with it. All right, so we're in the middle of fabricating this uh, shifter for the swap truck, and um, I was just kind of wanting to show you how we were, um, I know I had kind of explained where how we would route it, but basically we'll weld this plate. We I cut out a plate that will um, bolt to the floorboard, and then this will get welded to the floorboard, to that plate onto the floorboard. And once we get this mounted in here, I'm gonna build me a plate for the shifter to sit on top of so that he can have a ratchet shifter in place and it'll be nice and sturdy. We'll be able to weld a little gusset down there and make sure that it's not gonna be shaky or just a single bolt or something, any kind of rickety. And then we'll just run the uh, shift cable down through the uh, bottom of the dash here. And um, hopefully the end product will be, a uh, end goal is to have a product looking nice and clean. And I, I think we're on the way to getting there. Alright guys, so we got the shifter here in uh, Doug Harden's truck, the swap truck, that uh, we ended up fabbing the brace to bolt to the floorboard covering up the uh, manual shift um, hole through the center console. And um, with what we came up with was a bent bracket, we powder coated it and um, finished mounting it up here and we ended up just driving, running the uh, shift cable down through the center, um, uh, what do you call this, the center console cup holder area down in this corner. Had to cut a hole in the dash and then we ended up drilling a hole through the floorboard running it down through the uh, transfer to the transmission. While, meanwhile running the wiring for the and eater up along in that same route and we'll be mounting the and eater on the side of the shifter here and uh, end goal is a nice clean finish. Alright, so we got the uh, trans coolers mounted up. We ended up uh, bending, bending some one inch uh, bracket and welding it to the frame. Keep it away from the wiring harness and down out of the way from the uh, cab. And we put it on a little bit of an angle to allow from the transfer case to come out. Um, but uh, clean little look, adding coolers for the, being that it was a manual going to an auto, it didn't have any trans cooler, so this is all the cooling that we, trans cooling that we have. All right guys, so we got the and eater installed on the swap truck here and we're ready to drive it. Um, once we get it, uh, once we get the tune on the and eater, all, all the wrinkles figured out, then um, we are gonna bring it back in the shop for the roll cage install. It's going to be a bolt-in bar with a swing-out door bar. Um, 
we're gonna build a build a removable cage with a uh, uh, obviously like I said it would be a station it won't be a stationary door bar to where you'll be able to pull a pin and swing the door bar out to be able to get access in and out of the vehicle and it'll make it to where the Bolton roll bar will be he'll be able to put a roll bar pull, put it in on the weekends and go racing and then pull it out uh, once he's when he's not racing to go just uh, daily drive it and um, have fun with it so that's the added bonus of the Bolton it's a little more expensive a lot more time involved um, but uh, it'll be a powder coated black bar that uh, will end product will uh, be a nice uh, street slash race truck Hey guys, uh, today we are getting started on Doug Harding's 06. Uh, it is getting a removable roll bar. Uh, it's getting black powder coat, removable door bars, uh, all that fun stuff. Uh, so today we're just kind of going through getting all the holes drilled in the floor, uh, getting the main hoop done, getting a bunch of all that kind of stuff done. Lynn's working on some of that stuff. We're trying to get the frame all cleaned up so we can do outriggers, all that stuff, and uh, hopefully get it done by the end of this week and so he can go racing. Guys, uh, we are a couple days into Doug Harding's uh, removable roll bar install. Uh, so we're, right now we're just getting everything. We have the main hoop done, uh, the main hoop outriggers, a uh, bunch of stuff like that. We have, we're doing the rear bars, the front outriggers, and the removable swing outdoor bars. So we're just trying to get everything tacked up, get everything rolling. Uh, so it should be done here probably, or at least mostly done today, uh, leading into tomorrow. So stay tuned for it. Today we got Doug Harden's 06 truck on the dyno. The motor has the built motor, port and polished head by Enterprise. He assembled the motor, the, the short block uh, himself, Corilla rods, Corilla girdle, has 625 head studs, firing. Turbos has 369, 488 compound setup. Fuel is 350% SNS injectors, uh, 14 mil SNS CP3. So we will flash one of our tunes in it and see what kind of power we can make with it. Alright, so we got Doug's truck finished up. We were fighting a little bit of a fuel surge on it. And we couldn't make it to make less power. At uh, 1,000 US, it was, making, it was still making 1,000 horsepower. And he wanted a lower tune that he could daily drive on. Something that his wife could drive the truck on. So we uh, finagled rail pressure and timing a little bit more. Ended up making 827 horsepower on tune one. And from there, we just kind of evenly spaced the tunes out and made a pretty rowdy 1,318 horsepower for the setup. It's really good numbers. So he was happy with the numbers. Everything in the data logs looked good. So once the powder, or once the roll bar gets back from powder coat then he will come pick the truck up and hopefully plan to play in the 670 class this year.